Hello over there. Wow. This is by far the biggest, most epic yard sale, thrift store, estate sale haul I have ever done. I was in North Carolina for a friend's wedding and I thrifted my way around the South and I brought a car load full of goodies back home. And I'm gonna show you what I got today because I always like watching these type of videos. So I hope you do. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. I make videos on all things home. So home decor, thrift store, hauls, uh, upcycles, DIYs, home renovations, garden content, all that kind of jazz. So if you're interested in videos like that, you might be interested in sticking around and watching some of my other videos. Let's just start with lighting. Look at this candle holder. It is so vintage, it's so pretty. I love the amber glass. It's so delicate and the best thing about this is it's a matching set. It is so rare to find vintage matching sets of candle holders or candelabras or something like that. It's really, really hard to find. So if you find a matching set of two vintage pieces, buy both of them. I promise you, you will not regret it, buy both of them. But if you put a long candle in it, it kind of sticks out of the top, that's kind of cool, but it'll burn down and then be inside of the globe and then the amber glass will just kind of radiate that warm candlelight even more. Love these, love these, love these. I got these for $5 a piece. Five dollars. I love oil lamps. I have oil lamps all over this farmhouse. I don't really need another one, but I couldn't pass this one up. It's so stinking cute. It's so pretty. The brass is so nice. I love this little kind of dainty glass flute on top. It's everything. It's so pretty. And I got this for, what was it? I think a dollar. I got this for one dollar and it was made in Denmark. Couldn't pass it up. One dollar, are you kidding me? And it's in like perfect condition. <laughs> and then this guy, this is a tabletop candelabra. It's brass. I'm in love with this. It just sits right on your table. You put your little candles in here. This is gonna be so pretty for Christmas. I am in love with vintage brass pieces, especially really sturdy ones. It's so nice. It is so pretty and I cannot wait for Christmas because I can put garland around it and like little decorations in between. Stick around, I will definitely be utilizing this. I'll be pulling this out for Christmas time. So we might be doing Vlogmas again. We might be doing Vlogmas again, I'm just saying. And then Mark picked these up. Um, I'm not really sure what they are. They are vintage brass. They were a dollar piece. You put like a sterno in here, then you heat whatever is up on top like that, I don't know. We can maybe use these as something different than that because I don't really use sternos, but they were too pretty. They're vintage, they're really heavy, nice brass, and they were a dollar a piece. Look at how freaking pretty and sweet and cute this thing is. Wow, that is wiggly. Oh wait, what? You can move it? Hold on. So this is antique brass. Precious little wall mount candle holder. The glass votives have a beautiful kind of like Christmas themed holly berry pine tree motif in there in a frosted glass. Perfect for Christmas. And I think I just discovered that you can adjust the arms. So you can have it straight. I think you can pull it down and do like this thing. How cool is that? I had no idea. So we might need some WD-40 on the other side, but I think you could have it go like boom, boom. So if you wanted like a little V shape, you could do a V shape or you could just do it straight. Whoa. Love it and I got it for $3. Next up are these wall hanging candle holders. Do you see a theme here? I'm trying to get a whole bunch of stuff to redo my stairwell. And I thought like having a whole bunch of like wall hanging candle sconce things on the walls up the stairwell would be like super 1800s. So that's what we're doing. But these were 50 cents a piece and I kind of bought them because three of them are just this like plain glass but it had one that matched the other set. And I didn't get these at the same place. I think I got this at Goodwill and the other one was at an actual estate sale. So I bought these because 
we have an extra one of these just in case something happens to one of the other globes. So these are relatively modern. This is like a composite wood. Um, I typically wouldn't purchase something that's like newer, like newly made, because um, I like to stick with more vintage pieces to keep authentic to this house. This house was built in 1873. So I kind of want to get pieces that are 150 years old. And this is definitely not 150 years old, but I think we might be able to spray paint it up and maybe do a little bit of that rub and buff to make it look more vintage. Like on camera, they don't look bad, but in person, you can definitely tell that they're cheaply made. Um, but maybe we can fix that with a DIY, stay tuned. And lastly, we have this beauty. Look at how freaking beautiful this thing is. Um, this is more of a like Rococo style, not necessarily vintage a farmhouse, but I just gravitated towards it. Couldn't keep my eye off of it. And I think I got it for $3. And it's just, it's so sweet. It's so pretty. It is so pretty and it's so delicate and feminine. And it takes those little tiny candles, like the, the skinnier candles. <laughs> I thought this would be really fun to put like on a vanity, like one of those like vanity mirrors that's on top of a dresser where it's old school style. I don't know. I love it, $3, I couldn't pass it up. Speaking of like a makeup vanity where you sit and like powder your nose, well you can use this to like make sure all of your powder is in place. Look at this. Look at this. It is so beautiful. The mirror is pretty dirty, but it is so freaking beautiful. And I got it for $275. Can you see? 275. 275. 275. So I can sit at my makeup vanity with my little candle thing and my little mirror thing, and like powder my nose and feel fancy, a freaking schmancy. Moving into more of decor stuff. This is a coat rack entryway hanger thing. It's brass. I love the little white detail and the back is a butterfly. I thought it was really cute. Marky found this and it was fit sand. Are you guys tired of brass yet? Me neither. Look it. It is a brass <laughs> seashell trinket dish. This is perfect for the retro vintage Cape Cod style house. As an, on the entryway, on the entry table, where you can put your keys, sunglasses, wallet, phone, it'll fit everything. And this was 375. So I guess we're just keeping on going with the brass theme, guys. Okay, so if you follow me over on Instagram, you might have seen me find this on the roadside. There was a like a roadside yard sale. I picked this up for a dollar, maybe it was two dollars. I can't remember if it was one or two dollars. This is old, this is definitely vintage. The lady I bought it from, she was in her 60s and she said that this was her grandmother's. So it's going back a ways. It's so beautiful. Look at the detailing. The coolest thing about this is it is beveled glass. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it, but it kind of like bubbles up in the middle. Can you kind of tell? Can you see it? How, okay, maybe you can see it there. How it kind of like bubbles up right in the middle. I don't know why. Maybe it like makes your photos look more realistic. I'm not sure, but I will definitely find like a vintage photo to put in here and we'll see if it makes a difference. But apparently that's like a super vintage thing. Like they used to do bevel glass all the time, but now they don't really do it anymore. So exciting. Look at how old. Let me tell you a little story about how we found some of this stuff. It'll only be real quick. So we went to a thrift store. The thrift store lady said that she had a friend who was having an estate sale the next day. Well, we went to the estate sale that day because we're like, she's probably doing a clean out. Let's just go see. We went a day early. She gave us like a pre shopping experience. So we bought a whole bunch of stuff from her then. And she's like, hey, are you interested in more vintage stuff? Because I have a storage unit across the street. And we're like, yeah. So we went to the storage unit across the street and found quite a few of these goodies. But this was one of them. It's a little step stool, a little footstool. I thought it was so freaking cute, so sweet. And it is so old. It is like, look at the wood. Look at how the wood is curved. It's in perfect condition and it totally fits the aesthetic of this farmhouse. It's perfect and it's well-made and it's perfect. 
I paid $20 for this. It was a little bit more than I normally pay for like estate sale finds, but I thought it was too good to pass up. Too good. It is like 105 degrees here today, y'all, and I don't have air conditioning. <laughs> Bear with me. I don't know what this is, but it is cute. I don't know. So these don't go in there. This is, it just says a copper vessel. Um, I don't know if you put like matches in here. I'm kind of thinking you might put like matches in here and then put like a match striker in there. But it's like, there's like a little space for a label. Like, I don't know what, and there's a handle. Maybe it's like a scooper and you dump it out. I don't know. I already, I do have another one of these that's a little bit taller. If you guys know what this is used for, let me know in the comments below. And these guys, I'm not sure if they're like hammers, like original like mallets. They're very, very lightweight. And this is like, has a really pretty detail on the bottom. I'm kind of thinking they're like judge, like gavels, like a judge, a gavel, mallet, like a judge gavel, right? Like court adjourned, like that, right? All three for five dollars. So some of these have tags on them um, because the lady, was a like a vintage reseller and she had a booth at a, like a vintage market but she was selling these things like a, as like regular estate sale type of stuff so a lot of the things that have tags that have prices on them weren't what we paid for them like this thing says it's 14 dollars just for this but we got the whole shebang for five dollars so if you see some price tags on there that's what that was. Irons! Now, if you guys don't know, this is how people used to iron their clothes. So these are made out of iron. You would set them in the fire and get them really, really hot. Not in the fire, because you don't want to get soot on them, but like, you'd probably hang them above the fire so they'd be hot. And then you use the weight of them and the heat to iron out your stuff. But the coolest thing is they match. It is so hard to find vintage irons like this that are the same size it's nearly impossible so when you can find two that are the same size the same weight because they would make them in different weights so if you can find a matching set buy it and the thing that i like to do is use them as bookends it's the best when you have like a vintage shelf with some really awesome books in the middle and you have these irons as bookends it looks so good. I think we're moving into like some kitchen stuff. Oh, let me just show you the baskets first. Let me show you the baskets. I got a lot of <gasps> baskety things. So cute. I don't know if this is actually like vintage. It, it seems pretty thin, but I mean, it looks patinaed like it is vintage, but I thought like, if not a planter, maybe kitchen organization. I don't know. I loved it and it was one dollar here's another little basket this one was one dollar as well i don't know what i'm gonna use it for but you always need storage baskets right this is a little chicken wire basket i actually have one of these that i got off of amazon it came with three mason jars in the middle where you can put like uh co cotton balls q-tips cotton swabs whatever for like bathroom storage um i will if they still make these i'll link it below because you can actually buy this with the jars in it um, but we, since we already had one, I thought it might be kind of fun to have a matching one. And I think we got this for like a quarter. So we got another one. And then another one of my favorite finds is this vintage handmade picnic basket. Look at how cute. Look at how pretty it is. So beautiful. It is handmade. It is vintage and I'm ready for a picnic. Who wants to come on a picnic with me? I have to do a little bit of work to it because one of the slats down here is kind of coming apart. Um, oh my gosh, look, it has elastic. You can put like utensils in there. Well, the elastic is not very elasticy anymore, um, but Maybe I could replace the elastic and kind of do the same thing, but I do need to do a little bit of work to it. You see that bottom slat right here? It's kind of coming apart, but I thought this was way too beautiful to pass up, even though it did need a little bit of love. I think I got this for $15, 15. I might've even paid 20 for it, but I think it was 15. I just, it's, 
I think it might be one of my favorite things out of the whole haul. So I found this, it's not corningware, but it's like corningware. It's a baking dish set um, because I actually need a baking dish set over at the cottage. Look at the little, can you see the little floral detail on it? It's like kind of 80s, but the cottage over there is retro. It kind of references 50s, kind of references mid-century modern. There's a little bit of 80s in there. It's just, it's colorful, it's fun, it's vibrant, it's a lot. Um, so I thought these would fit perfectly in that kind of retro kitchen vibe because these these could be 50s but they could be 80s referencing 50s but my favorite piece in the whole set is this baking dish look at the detail around the outside it's so sweet like it's so sweet it's so pretty i couldn't pass it up and i got the whole set for 10 bucks so there's this like deeper bigger baking dish there's two of the ovals and two of the rounds. So for 10 bucks, especially when I need them, and it has a cute little print on it, I thought it was a no brainer. I had to veto Mark's decision on that one. More dishware, I got this for the farmhouse. Um, I thought it was really pretty. I like it because I don't really have any serving dishes like this that are this small. I have a lot of like the bigger ones that are gorgeous. So those would be nice to have since it's a little bit smaller and I don't have anything small like this so $1.75 a little tea kettle mark got this not my favorite thing on the planet but he wanted it and it was like a quarter so I let him have it now this set I have a little story to tell you about this set so I found these at that estate sale look at how freaking pretty they are so this is like a green glass it's smooth on the inside but the outside has like kind of a fruit motif you can see like apples and cherries and pears in there. I just loved the green, the green glass. I haven't really seen a lot of green glass like this. So I got this big bowl and this baking dish at the estate sale for $5 for the pear. And then a couple days later, we went to Goodwill and I found this. It's the exact same. I found this one for $3.75, but it is literally the exact same. Like, the exact same it goes with the set how random is that how random they're the same it's crazy it was meant to be i was supposed to have the whole set thank you more dishware coming your way this was really cute and i thought it was fun that I had like a rope we can just like hang it on the wall i've never really seen anything like this and the bottom looks like a bunt cake but the inside oh the inside is kind of like bunt cake ish as well I don't know, three bucks. Can't pass it up. And then this one is just pretty. It's made in Japan. I thought for the Cape Cod style house, also one of my clients is super into Japanese ceramics. So if this doesn't fit over in the cottage, I might just gift this to him. Just random, cause I needed it. Anchor hawking, $1. A grinding stone to sharpen your knives, 25 cents. This is a napkin holder. I don't really use like paper napkins, but I thought, Maybe instead of napkins, it could be mail. Maybe we could just like put our mail behind it. Like, oh, this is the mail that came today. Sift through it. A little trinket dish. Look at how sweet. It's so pretty. I think this was a dollar. Couldn't pass it up. It's just like so vintage and so cute. Like the paint is totally coming off, but I thought it was definitely like vintage farmhouse. It's like a seashell wall hanging thing. I think people use it as like a cigarette ashtray. Like I think that looks like cigarette ashy in there. I'm like hanging on the wall and like your cigarette stuff goes in there. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I thought it was really pretty. Yes, please. This one has little palm trees on the end. It's silver. I don't know if it's like actually silver silver, if it's like plated silver, who knows. But I thought it was adorable for somewhere. Now this is carved out of wood. Look at how pretty, it has a little rhino in there. I've seen some of these like carved out of ivory. If it was ivory, I probably wouldn't have purchased it, but it's carved out of wood. And I love how like pointy the fork is. I don't know if I'd actually use this or just like hang it on the wall because it's so unique and so pretty. I bought it. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, you might have seen in my stories that I was interested in this face. I bought it. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. 
But look, I found this one. <laughs> this one says on the bottom, Ironstone. I think that says 1873 in England. So, Vantage. It's the same year as my house. I had to buy it. So Mark found this. I think you like like oh, cookies, maybe. Maybe it's icing. It has the different nibs to it, like different nibs you can put on the end. So maybe this is for icing, like an icing decorator squisher thing. We'll have to try it out. <laughs> Had to have it. It's just too unique of a shape for $1.75 to pass up. Super cute little trays. They're plastic. It kind of has that post World War II, like when everybody was obsessed with like Japanese woodblock prints. Um, very like art deco-y, kind of 80s. It totally fits with that house. Beautiful little hand painted tray for a dollar. I could set it on the ottoman. I could set it on one of the beds with like a little snack, a little welcome tea. Cute. Copper pot made in Italy. We can maybe put like a succulent in here. Cowbell. We need more cowbell. This is another roadside find. I got this for a dollar. It is a long match holder. So you put your matches in there, like the long stick matches. I don't know if there's a striker on here, but one dollar. So pretty. It is from JMH. Rooster egg timer. Handmade little pottery ceramics jar made from Ponce. 1985 ponds. So I was super into ceramics at one point of my life and to make something like this is actually really, really, really hard. It is so beautifully made. The lip on the inside is done to perfection. This lip is done per to perfection. It's glazed really well. Like this is a beautiful, beautiful little trinket dish bowl thing. It's made really, really well. These things are to take the lid off of a coal burning stove. So you can like take the lid off, put more coal in it. Um, I'll, I'll insert a little clip of where I, I've used it before, but got these things. Okay, we're almost done. Look at how cool this is. It's for all of your drill bits. You all put all of your drill bits in here. I thought that was too cool. Got some books. I thought these were pretty cool to filter into like a gallery wall design in the stairwell. Well, this was really pretty as well. And this is a wood inlay of the Hudson Valley, the Hudson River Valley that I found in North Carolina. How cool. Wine barrel for 20 bucks. This is a really awesome vintage milk jug. I think we actually paid 50 for this. This one was one of the pricier items that we found. This is really beautiful, fits perfectly into this farmhouse. I found this pot. Oh, I love this so much. This one was $5. Look at this bowl, the handles. Oh, love it. I could see a big fern in here. And then this, this hangs on a wall and you put water in here and then I think you just like turn the little tap and it trickles down into the base. Um, there's no like pump or anything, but I think that was so beautiful to kind of hang on the outside of the pool house, just fill up with the reservoir and have it just trickle down. How sweet is that? We got this one for $10. And then I found some old galvanized pails. There's three of them in here. We got all three for 15 bucks. If you have a farmhouse or if you're looking for that like farmhouse vibe, look for galvanized pails because these are so useful. You could use them as a planter. You could also put um, like tinder in here or kindling for a fire. You could use these actually as like farm buckets, you know, for feed. So keep your eyes open. These aren't super easy to come by, but if you find them, they are so versatile, you can pretty much use them for anything. Oh, I have two more things to show you. I completely forgot. I found this really pretty overlay blanket. I thought it'd be perfect 
for the yellow bedroom over at the cottage. And then I found this vintage wool throw. It's so pretty. I've washed it once. I do need to wash it again. It doesn't smell bad. It just smells like, like a musty old house. <laughs> so I do need to wash this again. I'll probably soak it in um, maybe a little bit of vinegar to kind of get that funky smell out, but it is so pretty. It, there are no moth holes in it anywhere. It's still intact. Um, it's, it's wool. It's so pretty and vintage. And I love this. this. I got this one for 15 bucks and I got the yellow blanket for I think $5. Okay. I think that is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul of all of my fun finds that I found all around the South, especially in North Carolina. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing is, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye.